you're, you're picking out the lures, you're picking out the spot we're going to. I'm taking it out because I work here and I can do that, <laughs> so. He's got the tail right, I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, he, oh my gosh. Folks, what's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. You might be wondering, where in the world am I right now? And I am at Bass Pro Shops, guys, but not by myself today. I'm actually here with Hunter, who works at Bass Pro Shops. So Hunter, how about you tell the people how we actually met for the first and also the second time, because I think they're both pretty funny stories. So the first time we actually met is he came in here to do his uh, cheapest baitcaster at Bass Pro video, and I was actually one of the people that helped him out. Um, well, Teddy guy didn't help him out. I sent him to the guy who would help him out. <laughs> and then uh, we ran. I ran into him and uh, Noah for a second time back in Jacksonville about late January and February. And uh, that's when we figured out we should try to go fishing sometime. So I thought it was absolutely crazy how I met Hunter, how he was working at Bass Pro Shops. And we randomly ran into each other at a gas station three hours away from here. So I knew we had to go fishing. So here's the deal today, guys. We're gonna do something crazy. So Hunter's gonna take me inside of Bass Pro Shops. I'm gonna pick out a few baits that I'm pretty sure are gonna kill it today. Hunter, dude. You're in charge of today's fishing adventure. You're picking out the lures. You're picking out the spot we're going to. I, I mean, I'm, this whole video is relying on you to put us on some fish. Oh yeah, I'm, I got some really, I got a good bait plan today. I hope it's actually gonna work too. So guys, today's video is Bass Pro Shops employee takes me fishing. If this video has 2,500 likes, what I'll do is I will take the Bass Pro Shops employee fishing and I'll put you on some of my juicy spots, man. So that's what we're gonna do guys, 2,500 likes and I will take him fishing some of my spots. But today, it's all on Hunter. He's choosing out the baits, he's choosing out the spots and hopefully we'll catch some fish. We'll see you guys. Let's go ahead and go inside and start shopping. Alright guys, Hunter and I are inside of Bass Pro Shops and he took his uniform off because obviously he's not on the clock because we're going fishing. Yeah. So that might be a little awkward, but Hunter is going to pick out our top five fishing lures that we're going to be using today. And I mean guys, this is sweet. I got an insider scoop on the best lures to use because you work at Bass Pro Shops so you know what the best lures are right now, hopefully. So we're just going to go ahead guys and start looking for lures. <laughs> this is actually my favorite color just because like I've learned with white ice that sometimes it's almost too white but this makes it look perfectly like a shad with a little bit of sparkle it makes a huge difference it's called bait fish bait fish it's caught one of my friends his pb twice and literally 30 minutes difference i recommend um this one used to be awesome for me in like dingy areas with ponds dirty water especially because yeah. whenever it falls that white gives it a flash and it also has a natural look whenever you see that watermelon on top mm -hmm. so it's a solid bait for something that like if you're throwing in small areas, finicky bass might pick this over the next watermelon red sanka that comes out now. Yeah. So, so you guys know I love rattle traps, but I have never seen a solid red rattle trap. This is red chrome. When we come back, if you guys hit 2,500 likes, this is gonna be the first thing where I grab. But we gotta put it back for now, guys. Dude, I like how you can just navigate around here. Like when I'm in here, I'm lo like a lost puppy. Um, one of my fit, the ones that's actually worked for me pretty well there is the uh, Junebug River Bug. So what this is, is essentially like a beaver style bait. And essentially you just throw it in the brush and you get some fish that are hiding from the sun and it's solid solid bait. Guys, I've never seen this color speedworm before. The blackberry, that's pretty cool. It's like black with purple flakes in it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to pick that up. Now, one bait that I especially wanted to pick, just to give you a little bit of a curveball, is oh, the no. Hunt Phantom Spider. Oh, no. Now, this one I like to use because uh, banana spiders are something that we have tons of in Florida, and these things are definitely interesting. I'm gonna be using it too because I already have one, but this is gonna be solid. It's a light top water bait, and kidding? some fish destroy this thing. So Hunter's still looking for baits. Hunter, I'm trying to see, like, what's the secret stuff that all the Bass Pro Shops employees know about in this whole entire place? Like, the most underrated lure, in your opinion. Um, one of the, my favorite lures that I actually used during the late winter and springtime that I actually had a ton of luck with was actually a topwater spook. We have something called the XPS Slim Dog. And this one's $3.99, um, too. Yeah, and it's awesome because of the clear bottom. And yeah. it has this, essentially, this cup on the inside. It spits water as it walks, and this thing walks awesomely. Something that's pretty cool here is that uh, there's, there's this lures that we have super cheap Livingston lures some people know the name some people don't um, yeah. these are actual lures that are electronic so essentially the way they run is they can make sounds emit sounds um, this one right here you can actually I'm taking it out because I work here and I can do that <laughs> so all you gotta do is lick the fingers if you listen closely if I don't hit myself it's Dude. making sound currently right now 
I don't know if they can hear that, guys, but it's making like live bait fish noises just from oh, yeah. when it touches water, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, it completes the circuit once you go in the water, and it's pretty sick. I haven't really tried them out like solidly yet, but I'm, it's an interesting bait, especially because we do have them on sale sometimes and get them super cheap. So, you guys heard it here first the secret sauce inside Bass Pro Shops, the insider tip electronic lures. And I think I have one of their top water lures, but I didn't even know what brand it was. It just came, I think, in one of my mystery tackle boxes or something like that. But that's kind of cool. I might have to do like an electronic fishing challenge here soon if you guys want to see that. Hold up, guys. Hunter just found some, what is that? <laughs> it's the banana rod, you know? It's a $20 rod, and it's just ridiculously, oh awesomely God. light. Man, hooking. <laughs> this rod is actually pretty insane to catch fish on, especially if you have a light line. I've known somebody who caught a red snapper on one of these things, and it was insane. The pole Dude. was completely bent over. What action is that? Is I, it's it like, like a... extra, extra ultralight. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to film a video bass fishing with that soon. World's bendiest fishing rod. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that one when it drops. But I might even buy that. I'll buy it another time. We'll leave it here. All right, guys. We got the lures that Hunter picked out for us at Bass Pro Shops. And we're actually going to be giving away the hand-selected lures from Bass Pro Shops employee to you guys. All you guys have to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave this video with a like. And if you want to, this part's optional. Comment down below your favorite post spawn fishing lure guys part one is done we got the base but part two is going to be the hardest part that's going to be going and catching fish so without telling me where we're going because we don't want people knowing exactly where we're at oh, yeah. tell me where we're going without telling me where we're going you feel me so the spot we're going to is a little spot that i know uh, i used to fish with my buddy and it's actually a creek on the side of the road um but it's actually <laughs> It's actually on the way to one of my favorite lakes back here in uh, this part of Tallahassee. It's been really good for me in the past. So we're switching it up today, guys. A little creek fishing. I'm very, very excited. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start fishing. All right, guys, we have made it out to this spot here. I mean, here's the little river we're going to be fishing today. Hunter is already down there a little bit. He's already kind of started fishing here. But guys, I am super excited to fish something like this. This is something I haven't fished before ever in my city. So this is going to be really, really cool. Oh, there he is. I see him. Got him. No way. Oh, I was. Oh, he's sweet. Oh my gosh, guys, that was crazy. So I don't know if y'all can see this. There's a fish right in that tree. Oh, he's like a, maybe a pound and a half or Oh, he's two pounds. You see him? Yeah, he, he's eating my lure. No way to eat the lure. Oh, oh my god. Oh. He's not committing. He's not committing. Heck yeah, guys. There we go. That's our first fish out of this river. I mean, I saw him swimming. I cast it on him. And he instantly just chased it as soon as it hit the water. That was so cool. And I see like a three pounder underneath this tree right here. So I'm going to let this one go real quick. Let's see if we can't catch that one. See, you, buddy. That was a long, but like skinny fish. Probably only weighed like a pound and a half, maybe. Dude, there's. Cigar right here. Oh my goodness. I'm about to hit him in the face. Oh, oh, he's trying to eat it. He's got the tail. He's got the tail right, I don't know what to do. Oh! Oh my gosh! Dude, you're kidding me! Oh my gosh! Yo, guys, that is cr I've never. What the heck, man? Wait, wait, try to catch that one. You see that one? Look at that. That one's bigger. Oh my gosh! Dude, cast on that thing. They, dude, they'll tear up a flea. That's what I used to catch them on. Guys, there's another gar bigger than one I just caught swimming right there, and I just caught one on the speed worm. This is such a different type of fishing for me. Normally, I'm not sight fishing for any freshwater fish, for that matter. We just caught. A gar and the other one I saw swimming was like twice the size but I feel like the hookup ratio on a gar is like one in ten and we ended up catching this guy he got a little bit of blood on me and stuff I'm gonna let him go these guys I mean these are super tough prehistoric fish and we sight fish them I mean that was just so cool we're gonna let him go all right you're gonna have a little bit of a drop buddy Jeez. Guys, so what our plan has been is, I mean, this blue is what it's called, goes on forever. And we're just walking until we see fish. And that last one was a gar, but we've seen that bass that I caught and also a really big bass that followed us up and didn't end up biting. But that's our plan, I guess, is just walking and kind of casting in the deeper water just randomly and hoping that we run into some, uh, some big fish. Oh, I see him. I see him. I reeled it right in front of his face, dude. You see him? He's right there. He's swimming up shallow. Might actually be a good time to catch him. Oh, is that a fish? Hold up, dude. This might be good. Oh my gosh, he swam towards it. I can't see him because of the glare. I see him. Here, I'm gonna try to get in there one more time. Yeah. 
Dang it. Oh, he. Oh my gosh! There's another one! I thought I, I scared him and he came back for it. Look at that perfect hook set, too. Holy cow. My heart's racing. Dude, the other one looked big too. Oh, dude, that's enough. Dude, that one might be bigger than this one. Dude, that is, oh, look at the shoulders on that thing. Look at the gar in front of him. You see that gar? Dang, man. Oh, oh my no. gosh. I had that on video, dude. I did too. No, guys, that was another gar. He took my speed worm, that hecker. Guys, it is so cool just fishing a new spot where I live. I pretty much fish every single public body of water in the city I'm from and it's cool to find another spot that I've never fished before and come out here and just do a different style of fishing really than what I normally do. Oh, what was that? Please be a fish. Oh, it is. There you go. Oh, I, he came off the hook. I got him. <laughs> Those speed worms under the tree. Didn't even see them. Guys, this is the first one we didn't sight fish. And I looked it up and I felt a dunk. And I was like, no way. It's been like, it's been quite a few minutes since we got that last one. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear my heart pumping through the, uh, through the GoPro. But even though it's a little tiny one, that is just, it's just so much fun. Guys, oh my God. Hunter, dude. Got some salad. Lunker! There you go. <laughs> Guys, Man, you do I not know how one. long we've been looking for that. We want Hunter to get on one today. He's so fat for Dude, a the guy. Cinco is like the size of him. I even like bit that down and it's almost the size of him, man. We gotta like, get a picture of that. That's just too funny. Arm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hunter, show off your catch, dude. Oh yeah, man. Solid, just <laughs> PV material right here. Make sure you get the good angle on him. Actually, he has kind of a cool pattern on him on the other side. <laughs> it's kind of green, you know? I mean, you got to appreciate the small ones before you get the big ones, right? Because he's a future 10-pounder. You never know, man. So let's get let's get this back, guy back in the water here. Now, I can't really. Yeah, I'll go down. Just, as much. You know what, man? Yeah. Oh, that was a close call, but he made it. Woo! All right, folks. On that note, with that lunker, I think we're going to call it a video, guys. But remember, 2,500 likes, what we'll do is since Hunter put me on the fish today, I will take him out to some of my spots and we'll put Hunter on the fish. I mean, I was getting worried for a second you weren't gonna catch one, but you came in clutch, clutch with that lunker at the end. <laughs> this is a cool spot though. I mean, like this is a cool scenic area and I'm just glad that I got to experience a new fishery in my town. And I might sound a little crazy right now, but that's just because we're really thirsty out here. In Florida, it's getting, it's like 95 degrees outside right now. So we're, uh, we're parched. We need water, guys. Stay hydrated when you're fishing. That's of the utmost importance. And we're not really doing it right now. My glass has been sideways this whole time, but that is okay. But guys, remember 2,500 likes and we will do that video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, comment, share anything to help this video, guys. That would be awesome. But until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here.